65. Very glad to launch him. Hang on. Okay, he's not going to launch, so we'll bring him back up there. We'll Okay, guys, we're on top of uh, Mingus Mountain. Going to watch this uh, parasailer take off out here on a on a hike on the trail here along the rim of Mingus Mountain. And the hang gliding parasailing club is up here. There was at one a little bit earlier. There was about oh, well, there's it's probably too far to see there, but there's one up there. Um, it looked like there's about ten or fifteen between hang gliders and parasailers. I guess he's waiting for the uh, wind, I guess. <coughs> so can I ask a couple questions for my YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, what's your name? Mike. Mike, I'm, I'm Jay. Jay. So what's the, what's, what's the deal up here? You guys, you, guys, you guys have a club up here. Yeah. Um, it's the uh, Arizona Hang Gliding Paragliding Association. We're part of the national... United States Hang Gliding Paragliding Association. Uh -huh. This is our local club. And we have five or more flying sites that are approved. Around, around the country? Or? Around Arizona. Around Arizona. And then USPA is the national organization, and they're all around the country. But each area has their own club. What's, US, what's USPA stand for? United States Hang Gliding Paragliding Association. Cool. And they're the governing body. Uh, the official body, we are a club. We're a sub uh -huh. club, but we all belong uh -huh. to USPA. And uh, so this is one of our sites. This uh, fly-in we have once a year at this particular weekend. And we invite pilots from all over. We advertise that we get pilots from California all over the place to come and fly here. And uh, get to know each other. And uh, have a, we got a big dinner planned for later. And this is you guys all camping over here. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. And uh, so we'll be, uh, some guys have already been here for a couple of days. And, uh, so what, what is he waiting for? He's waiting for the right uh, winds. Uh, this is a, a thermal site. It's mm -hmm. also what they call a lee site site, where the prevailing winds are going this way, but the mm -hmm. thermals come up. And we want the thermals to want to change. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Oh, yeah, I, I saw them earlier way up high. Oh, that, that, they got to uh, this, what they call the ceiling, which is as high as you can go today, which uh, I think is about six or 7,000 feet. Seems to be the ceiling. It was projected to go to uh, possibly to 15,000, but wow. nobody found that. But, uh -huh. Uh, Paraglider ready to launch. And so when he's ready, he's going to go. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we've had a bunch, we've probably had 20 gliders launch uh, paragliders. You can feel the wind coming up now. He's waiting yeah. for it. Yeah. He's waiting for this wind socket to straighten up a little bit. He's waiting for those streamers to be straight up. Okay. And so the guys are looking down the hill to see the streamers that are halfway down <laughs> to know that the thermal's coming up. Oh. And now we'll, we have wind coming up the hill. And that makes it a, uh, a nice launch. So who, who are you talking to on your, on your radio? I'm talking to anybody that might be setting up over there to oh. launch a hand glider. Yeah. So we've got a pair glider ready because they're only 100 feet away. We don't want them landing and launching at the same time. Gotcha. There's probably nobody there, but we give it anyway. But we're supposed to call out launching uh -huh. that way. Uh, pedestrians can see us. Um, and the hang gliders are over here, they, we don't want to launch at the same time because we're looking for the same air. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. We don't want to collide. Yeah, right, so right. We have, a, we have a pretty good uh, track record. So, 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 so they all land on a Cottonwood Airport? Unless they can go distance. We call that going XC or cross country. Mm -hmm. So you can launch from here. We've had pilots go over 100 miles. No kidding. They landed down in uh, Sonoma. No or, kidding. Uh, uh, okay. He's, 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 he's good. Um, I don't know what the record is, uh, but they, they've <clears throat> so gone they, far. So obviously they've, they've got somebody chasing them in a car or something? Yeah, or well, we have, um, we left a couple cars at the airport with keys in them. And <laughs> then we've got a couple cars up here with keys in them. Right. There are pilots that left, so if somebody from here has to go find them, then we can do that. But we kind of coordinate with your wife or your husband. So yeah. My wife just landed, but I already told her I'm not getting her because I'm the coordinator. Uh -huh. And I'm doing too much up here. So where's, where's, your, uh, where's your parasail? My paraglider is Pretty packed good. up at my at my camp, and uh, so I, I I won't be flying today. And then I'll make a decision tomorrow if I want to fly. Okay, I keep saying parasail. What's the difference between a parasail? A parasail is um, something that you uh, round 
type parachute that they would put behind oh. a speedboat or something like that. Uh, oh, this yeah, is a okay, paraglider. okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is actually, uh, you you are flying this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A parasail, you're being towed by okay. a boat or something like that. You have no gotcha. control. Uh, this is the most steerable ultralight aircraft on Earth, on the planet. Uh -huh. It's the, uh, uh, we can turn in our own wingspan. When you look. Yeah, can, yeah. I can turn. Pivot, run, basically. I can be going this way and turn and go right back in the same path I was in. So what, what does what does one of these cost to buy? They vary in price, uh, but I think all in with a harness and a wing, you're going to spend five grand, which is like five five grand? A dirt bike or something like yeah, that, yeah. or a ski do <coughs> um, something. And this is a very tricky technical launch because of the wind patterns up here. It's not it's not always coming in. Mm -hmm. So gotcha. the pilot has to be on his game. You want to be 100 percent and then uh, yeah, he may fail, and then we'll have to bring him back up here and set him up again. Okay, what do you mean fail? It may catch the wind at the wrong time, where it, the wind collapses and drops right here, and we'll just bring him back up. Oh, okay, um, okay. And then uh, once you get speed and it's above <coughs> you, and you get and you get over the edge, you're flying, so you're good. We, uh, we want to get to that point. So in order to train somebody, is there like a, like a duel, like a, I mean, how, how do you train somebody to do this? Bring them, bring them to a small hill, then teach them. You, let me, they go, you put them off on their own right off the bat? Oh, no, we go up 50 feet up a sl uh, slight slant hill, okay. like a 300 foot hill. Yeah. You go, so you go up 50 feet, learn how to launch, and then you're just six feet off the ground, you but, learn how to steer. But it's just them, it's not like a dual parachute type thing? No, because uh, sometimes people take tandem rides. Just to see if he's going to be uh, afraid of it, uh -huh. um, but the uh, so I didn't. I just learned, and then I took a tandem ride after I was a pilot with, uh, with a buddy of mine, and uh, just to, just to go up in a tandem. Uh -huh. and that was pretty cool. But we learned uh, there's this places easy places to learn. This is not a learning hill. This is a what they call a P3. P1 is a beginner just learning. P2 is a pilot. This is not a P2 hill. They're not qualified to fly here. They got to get more experience, become a P3, pass another test by a certified instructor. Then you can fly this one. And P3s even can have trouble here. I'm, I'm a P3. My wife's a P4. Wow. Um, so what's it go up to? P5. Very glad to launch him. Oh, no. Okay, he's not going to launch. So we'll bring him back up. Here. Mm -hmm. Pretty interesting, guys. Yeah, we're gonna drag him, drag it back up here, and uh, and do it again. There we go. Very cool. How awesome is that? He's coming back. I appreciate you answering your questions. Oh, well, if the, thank the you. channels are simple adventures, if you want to check it out, it should be up in a week. Oh, well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you bet. Mm -hmm. All right, how's that, you guys? Pretty cool. You're gonna see, you're gonna see a lot of different stuff on this channel. So, uh, God bless you guys. This is really cool. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, you never know what you're gonna see on this channel. Uh, love you guys. God bless.